Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video is on a product that I have been eyeing for a while. And it's a highlighter. It's from Coco Kind. And it's their highlighter, illuminator in, hold on, it's called My Light. So I had seen this here on YouTube because if you're familiar with um, her channel, her name is Alexa Blake. She mentioned it a while back and she uses it occasionally. Like she'll use it like underneath her makeup, over her makeup, and it's like the most beautiful highlighter. So I ordered it on Ulta and we're going to try it out today. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely keep on watching. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. So let's get started. Now I reviewed the bronzer um, a couple of weeks ago actually. So I really like the formula of this. And a couple of you also even said, hey, you should try out the highlighter. So I did it. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the information on the box. The box is cute by the way. It's like a copper, sort of dark rose gold copper color. So that's definitely catchy to me. All right, so it says makeup with skincare benefits, charged with maitake mushrooms, protects against free radical damage, keeps skin healthy and hydrated, brings out inner and outer glow, suitable for most natural and glam looks. Now you know me, I love a highlighter with makeup on, without makeup on, I, anything glowy, I'm there. And let's see, it says how to use gently glide highlighter onto cheekbones, brow bone, body, lips, eyelids and blend with fingertips use alone or with the chicago which i have here um for increased dimension that's it i mean it's got good for you and good it has good for you ingredients i don't know why my tongue always like i'm talking and i guess my brain is moving faster than my mouth it has a castor seed oil jojoba oil sunflower uh, mango rosemary so it's got a lot of nice ingredients that is definitely going to give you a beautiful glow. I will be swatching this up close for you, but I'm going to swatch it on my hand because I actually haven't swatched it yet. And I've had it and I'm like, I've been waiting to like film this. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a big kind of like chapstick container. So I'll swatch it here, but we'll get that up close swatch. So I'm just going to go down. And I have a light here, so you can see. It's very creamy. I don't know, maybe, hold on. That wasn't a very good swatch, so there you go. Now you can see. So you see if I turn. So there is a little bit of color here, so I don't know how it would work with like somebody who's super fair, but we'll see. The sun is out and it's so bright. I feel like I look a lot lighter than what I normally do. All right, so we'll cut into swatches and then we're gonna come back and we are going to try it on. All right, so here I have the Coco Kind My Light and I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. So it does have like a bit of a, I would say it's more of a gold color. It says here it's a rosé skin nourishing highlighter, but definitely a bit of a gold in it but if you kind of blend it out you get this really pretty glow all right so now you see the swatch is a little bit better so what I'm going to do is I want to try this a couple of ways I want to try it under foundation but I also want to try it over foundation um because like I said I saw Alexa Blake put it on underneath and like her face just like lit up and I was like oh my god that's so beautiful Sorry, my cat's like, he's been crazy. We had so much snow this past month and he used to be an indoor outdoor cat because he was a stray. So he was used to being outside. And ever since all of this snow, like I don't even think he's left the house. So his, his sleep schedule is definitely changing and he's more like rambunctious during the day. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna hit it on the high points of my face. It's 
definitely a glow. It's very, very pretty. I'll go down the center of my nose. The one thing I will say is that there is, like, I'm seeing some color here. So I think if, like, you're fair, um, I almost feel like if you're fair, it's going to come off as, like, almost like a blush topper, like a hint of a blush kind of thing. Like, I can blend it out and, and make it work on my, on my skin tone. I'm, like, a light medium kind of skin tone. And, obviously, once the sun comes out and it gets warmer, I get, I get pretty tan. So... This will work nice as a as a highlight. But look at that. Super, super pretty. There you go. It feels nice. All right, so now we're gonna go over top with a little foundation. Hang on one second. So I'm gonna go in with a foundation that I have not reached for in a while. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost hydrating foundation stick. I'm, well, I hope this is still my shade. It's natural beige 60. <clears throat> I have not reached for this in a very long time. And really quick, I ordered the Real Technique brushes. Um, I've had, I had the original ones when they launched and I ordered these to kind of see if they were different or if they perform the same. They're definitely a little bit different. These bristles are a lot softer. So I'm probably going to speed through this, but I just wanted to quickly mention that. So I'm going to be using a brush to blend it out. All right, so I did like a light wash of foundation just to kind of even myself out. And you could definitely see like from the light, I guess, <laughs> you can see that the highlight still shows through. So it will give you kind of like a, a bit of a radiance underneath. Um, one thing that I will say though, is it, obviously if you throw on a matte foundation, I don't know how much it'll actually come through, but it's very, very pretty. And like now that we're getting well, we're slowly approaching spring and soon summer like my makeup tends to get lighter the coverage gets even more lighter or you know like a thin layer I mean that's kind of my coverage now because we really haven't gone anywhere you know what I mean so I'm home I'm not gonna put like heavy stuff on but this is definitely great for like an everyday look and weather I mean I don't know how long we're gonna be in masks for but if you just want to top off you know um the tops of your cheek as a highlight or, you know, something like that. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over top of the foundation. That's really pretty. It does give you like a nice kind of wet, dewy look. See, like when I turn, like my cheek gets that glow. And I will go into a natural light so that you can see as well. So let's do that. Let's go into some natural lighting. Okay, so now I'm in light, but the sun isn't exactly here, but there's no overcast. So I feel like, yeah, the skies are blue. So, so if I turn, you could see the highlight. It's it's a dewy highlight, but it's still on the natural side. So it's not going to be like an overly wet kind of dewiness, but it's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. All right. I was trying to get a better like shot in the sun, but the lighting isn't the best. But you can see the glow. It still shows through. I definitely feel like 
I have a mirror behind me now, so I, well, not behind me, behind you, <laughs> so I can see. Um, I definitely feel like you can see it. Like it picks up a little bit more than these lights are showing, but it's still, it's not overly dewy. It's not like a greasy looking highlight. It's a very beautiful, like dewy, healthy highlight. Like if I drank a lot of water and I'm hydrated, kind of highlight, if that makes sense. But I actually, I really like it. Um, thank you so much to those who recommended it. Like I said, I did see it on YouTube before and I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. But again, like if you know me, you know, anything, anything highlighter, I'm there. I'm for it. I love it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find this. I know you can find it at Ulta. I don't know if you can find it at Whole Foods. I, um, maybe you could find it at TJ Maxx. That's where I found the bronzer. Um, possibly Amazon. I'll check. If it's on Amazon, I'll link it down. Sometimes Amazon's prices are funny. Sometimes it's more affordable to just get it straight from like Ulta or Sephora or no, not Sephora. This is not a Sephora. But you know what I'm saying? Um, if the price is good, I'll link it down. You're more than welcome to use my Amazon storefront. I've mentioned this before, but it is like an affiliate kind of, um, link thing. So I do make a commission off of a purchase. There's no extra cost to you, but it does help me in my channel if you want to help. No pressure. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.